Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to talk to you about questions that you definitely need to answer before going into pharmacy. So these are questions that I wish that I had like asked myself or that somebody else had asked me and I just wanted to share it with you guys. So the first question is, do you know how to handle anxiety? So when you are a pharmacist, you'll be the one signing things off to say like, finally, like releasing, like, yes, okay, I'm happy with this and this can go to the patient. And doctors have a lot of trust in pharmacists. Usually they won't even double check your dose. Like they'll just be like, okay, the pharmacist can check the dose and that's fine. And they'll just believe you and go by what you're saying. So can you handle that anxiety? Also, if there, are, like, if there are any mistakes made, like that comes back to the pharmacist and not necessarily the doctor. And that's simply because we were the last step and we should have caught any problems. So can you handle that anxiety? Can you handle that responsibility? And can you also just go home and switch off knowing that you're holding that responsibility on your shoulders? So for this, I didn't know about it, but once I became a pharmacist, I became aware, obviously. Kind of dealt with it in a way that it got better as time went on. So the more time that goes by, the more you know about the drugs and the more you know about conditions. And so it becomes a lot easier. So that's how I guess I deal with anxiety. I still feel anxious about people like finding my mistakes if I've made some, cause I definitely make some on the ward. That part of it is still there. And also whenever people message me from work, I do feel that anxiety like, oh, why are they messaging me? Like, what did I miss out? Like, what did I do wrong? So can you handle that? The second question is, are you sure you want to do pharmacy and not medicine? So I have never actually wanted to do medicine. I've not always wanted to do pharmacy, but I've just never wanted to do medicine, if that makes sense. But do you even know the difference? And will you be able to make that difference even at work? So pharmacy and medicine, of course, they overlap. And there's many things that, there's kind of, it's kind of blurred lines, really. But you also need to know what those lines are. You shouldn't be overstepping your boundaries. You shouldn't be doing things out of your competence. Will you know those boundaries? That's another thing I think is good to consider. Also, as a pharmacist, you kind of need to know as much as a doctor, but you need to know when to step back and you need to know when to offer the information that's important to the doctors. So yeah, like I said, they do overlap but they're not the same. So make sure that you're aware of the differences. The third thing is, are you aware of the salary? So I was not, and now I am. And if you wanna know what the salary is as a junior pharmacist, then check out my video and I'll put it in the description box below. The fourth question you should ask yourself is, do you want to find the answer or are you happy being given the answer? So a lot of the times the doctors have to investigate and they have to figure out what is wrong with the patient and diagnose the patient. Pharmacists don't necessarily do that. At my stage, I definitely don't. Maybe like as an independent prescriber, I might be, but right now I will not diagnose a patient. So oftentimes we'll, we'll be given a diagnosis by the doctor. So the doctor will say, we're diagnosing this patient with, for example, community acquired pneumonia. Are you happy? Like, not are you happy, but that, 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 that will be it. And of course you can challenge and that is part of our jobs as well, but you won't be actively depended on to find a diagnosis for the patient. So if you're naturally inquisitive and you want to find out what's wrong with the patient and you want to investigate, then maybe medicine is more right for you. Whereas if you want the diagnosis given, which is what I prefer, and then you're happy to give the best treatments according to that diagnosis, then pharmacy is the right path for you. The fifth question you should ask yourself is, can you challenge other people? So a lot to do with our profession is challenging people. So doctors will prescribe things, consultants will prescribe things, nurses will say things. And a lot of the time we have to be like, hmm, like a nurse might say, I've ordered this drug. And you might have to say, well, it was ordered for the patient yesterday. We dispensed it, so it's probably in the cupboard, you know? Or a doctor might say, we're gonna go by this dose. And a consultant might say, we're gonna order this medication. And it might not be in line with the formulary. It might not be available from pharmacy. Or you might disagree with the dose that they're going for, or you might disagree with the frequency. And there's so many things on a day-to-day -day basis where you have to actively challenge other healthcare professionals. So would you be comfortable doing that? And with this, again, it comes with experience. So I definitely, when I first started work, I was just like mute, you know, quiet. It would take a lot for me to go up to someone and be like, um, I'm not sure that the dose is correct. But as you go on, the more confident you get, the more that you know. So I think that comes with experience. So yeah, it doesn't necessarily matter if you can't quite see yourself doing that right now. The sixth question is, are you happy checking someone else's work? So a lot of our day-to-day -day job is checking what the doctors have prescribed, is checking whether the nurses have given the medication, is checking whether your ward technicians have done a drug history correctly. So a lot of it involves checking. So are you happy to check someone else's work? And again, that links back to the previous question. So if, it, if you check it and you think that it's wrong, are you able to challenge that? The seventh question is, are you happy to prescribe? So I know there's a lot of talk going on right now about trainee pharmacists becoming independent prescribers straight away. I don't know how well that's gonna 
actually go in real life because there's so many sort of safety implications with that but are you happy to prescribe so if you were to become a hospital pharmacist and later on down the line would you be happy to do independent prescribing or as a trainee pharmacist who's like recently qualified when this whole independent prescribing thing comes into place would you be happy to do that yeah would you be happy to say okay i want to give this dose for this patient like as much as we're also checking i think the more the role of a pharmacist evolves we're also prescribing as well so make sure you'll be happy to do that the eighth question i want you to ask yourself is are you versatile so there's so many different aspects of pharmacy like there's different branches of pharmacy that you're going to like all the like main ones are community hospital and industry right but even within those branches there's a thousand million branches underneath those so as a hospital pharmacist you can be a commissioned pharmacist you can be a clinical trials pharmacist you can just be a rotational pharmacist you can be a specialist pharmacist there's so many different roles but also day to day as well there's loads of different roles um, you'll be speaking to the patient or you'll be thinking about the supply of medication you'll be talking to the doctors you'll be talking to the nurses and you'll be talking to patients next of kin so within the job there's also loads of little things involved so are you versatile enough are you someone who can adapt to situations and pharmacy is a constantly evolving constantly changing career so would you be able to adapt yourself with alongside that change and be versatile the ninth question you should ask yourself is is recognition important to you now i'm not saying that pharmacists don't get recognized i think that as more time goes on people do appreciate the work that we do and the more that you work with doctors and nurses and the more that you show that you can be helpful the role is actually appreciated but you're not going to get worldwide recognition like even in the news lately you'll just hear when they talk about healthcare professionals they'll just be like doctors and nurses they won't necessarily mention pharmacists and i'm not complaining because there's loads of other healthcare professionals that aren't mentioned either but what i'm saying is you're not going to be the first person that people think of and so if that recognition is important to you then pharmacy might not be the right career i don't really mind because i feel like as long as i recognize what i do and as long as the patients that I meet recognize what I do, and as long as my friends at work recognize what I do, then I don't really care. But yeah, it's not your first point of call to get recognition and status. The final question you should ask yourself is, will you be ready for all of the nitty gritty questions that pharmacists get, basically? So we'll be asked about the supply of medications, we'll be asked about the correct name of medications, the correct dose, the correct frequency, the correct route, um, whether it can be supplied or not, and also we'll have to do we have to do like controlled drug audits and you have to do just general like audits in general to see if there's any service improvement that can be made you'll have to speak to patients and their relatives and you know there's loads of little little bit itty bitty things that you'll have to do as a pharmacist would you be happy doing those things i personally am fine doing those things i'm happy to check a patient's locker i'm happy to check each tablet and each box of a medication and things like that but some people don't have the patience for that so if you're one of those people then again pharmacy might not be the right route for you that being said i think that you know the job is completely different to what you're thinking of when you read a book so when i was younger and trying to decide on a career i would go to the careers library and just open a book and be like yeah that sounds about right and i thought pharmacy was all about spelling and i just considered it to be like a spelling job and I was like I'm good at spelling I'll be able to spell the medication and that's why I thought I saw myself as being suitable as a pharmacist but it's completely different than that what you read as a pharmacist role and what you actually experience as a pharmacist role might be completely different so I hope that you can answer those questions and don't worry if you're not quite sure about the answers to the questions then that doesn't mean you're not right to be a pharmacist. I think that it's a really good job and I do enjoy it and obviously there are days when I don't enjoy it but there are many days that I do, so don't be disheartened if you're answering no to quite a few of the questions. Some of it will come with experience, but definitely think hard and definitely answer the questions and really think about whether pharmacy is right for you before making that decision. And I know it's hard, because I've done it too. Hopefully now with videos like this, you'll be a lot more informed and you'll be able to make better decisions. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you enjoy the new lighting. My boyfriend got me a light for Christmas and it's definitely made such a difference to my videos. I'm really happy and grateful to him. But yes, I hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.